in this video, I will give you some idea about how you can monitor your SAP cloud integration system, both with the standard and with the FIGAP tool. So here we have the our system. It's a new environment, but the, the same applies to Cloud Foundry. What you have here is you have option to specify different uh, settings. And what you can do is you can go into uh, the system and you can go and see what which message have failed, what are the reasons you can see the payloads, etc. This gives you an idea about what is going on with the system and enable you to find out uh, potential problems. One new feature that has actually been added is the ability to add packages. So here we can see that we have an integration package. We can add that, look it for the last period of time, failed messages, etc. That is uh, something that's quite helpful. So here we have a place where we can see both uh, two iFlows at the same time. Uh, these are not failed, but we have options to search for, for content inside of this. So definitely a lot of improvements here. Here we have the MPL attachment for this, uh, this process. These, this is the most important ones, the failed one, go in and, and understand what's going on there. You obviously also have something about things that have been deployed with error that you want to go in and see why this has been set up and run and what what the problem is. And this is apparently an artifact name. So obviously you want to go through and make sure those does not fail. So that is the, the best standard way. So go in regularly to check are there any failed messages, etc. If you want to improve your monitoring capability, in FIGAF we have created a tool that can help your administrator, your CPI system, but also monitor it. So for the monitor, we have a number of different options. So we have one here that gives you an, a way to see how many messages have been processed, what's the memory allocations on uh, new systems. Uh, how many messages we have processed in a given period of time. So you can get some kind of a understanding of the processing. And we also got a latency so we can actually understand are there any latency specifically right now for triggering iFlows. So that is, will give you like an overview about what is going on. The next thing we have is we can look at all the failed messages that have been triggered on a given system. So here we have the number of failed messages that have been processed here. Um, what we can see here is we can go in and we can set up what are the alerts that we want to uh, figure out or what was failed here. So it will download all of this, this data, all the payloads that exist, so both persisted and MPL attachments. You can then view these uh, payment uh, attachment and see them. And we also have, if we wanted to, to create an alert, we could send this notification somewhere. So we got this error. And one of the things that we have that makes this real simple is that we can create a rule about how to fix this. So we can add, we can add a number of steps. So these steps, these X paths would be executed in order. That means that for the highest number, you would then be able to, to set up what is going on or will be tested first. And then as the, the progresses, you will get the looser and looser X path. And then towards the end, you'll just get a catch all that will say, okay, we have a global error. We have different errors of setting the, the data for this, how critical it is. We can specify, we do not want similar message that fails with the same reason. And we can give a reason for how to fix it. And then we can send it to a given user or a HTTPS a webhook where we can then push this into our ticketing system. And with this filtering, we know we will not get too many messages. And then you have this, uh, once you've created all the rules, you have a list of the different rules that exist, what they are and uh, who they will send messages to. We also have our own uh, monitor and here you have an option uh, to create different or set in uh, different uh, iFlows into 
specify different filters you want to see on this and then you can actually give business users access to monitor a given process for these things so they will only be able to see these iFlows with the specific status or in, in a specific uh, tile here. We also have an option here to see both the MPL attachment, but also the persisted messages. So if we want to check out the persisted messages, it is all included here that you have this option for it. So these are the different options that we have. And we are also a small one we have worked on is a way that will persist these messages in the VGAF tool, download them, all the MPL attachments, etc. And then you'll actually be able to, to go through these messages and see what they are at a given point in time. So I hope this gives you a good idea about what the tool can do and how it can help you monitor your SAP cloud integration system um, at ease. And obviously there's a lot more into the VGAP tool than just this uh, monitoring capabilities, that's testing, uh, transport, governance, all of these different things that is a part of a good release cycle. But Check out this monitoring and I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.